The IMAF has many free data portals. Each of these portals contains a Query tab. You will be able to search available indicators, review country statistical data, and specify desired time periods. Query enables users to create customized outputs based on their selections within the currently selected dataset. Based on the choice of output, users will be prompted to select from available elements. Interacting within the selected dataset and creating a customized output of your choice is only a few clicks away. Users are then able to save their queries or export the resulting data and visualization. Let's get started. Please take a moment to locate and select the Query tab. There are essentially three components. Please take note of the active dataset and last update date. The current query is limited to the active dataset, identified earlier, with the latest available data to the IMF as of the last update. Use the drop-down menu in View to customize the output. For this training, we will focus on the default view, Table, a numerical relationship presented using rows and columns. Please refer to the left-hand side of your query screen. The data view is organized by the three main common structural elements required by most outputs, columns, rows, and fixed. Together with available dataset elements, time, country, and indicator being the most common, users can construct the visual output of their choice. Users can either drag and drop dataset elements or select them using the plus sign adjacent to the structural element. Note data view differ based on choice of output. To further interact and query the dataset, hover over the dataset element, time, country, and indicator to show the filter icon. Upon its selection, an interactive box will display all available options. Please place your mouse over the time element and select the filter icon. There are three subcomponents to the time filter, list, formula, and timeline. We will cover the list function. The list options provide the users with a selection of dates and the ability to select higher or lower frequencies as desired. Selections do not have to be consecutive in nature. Hit reset to start with the dataset default. Once selection is made, select apply, followed by OK. Please place your mouse over the indicator element and select the filter icon. This filter provides users with a list of all indicators in the selected dataset. Right-clicking on the list provides further filtering options for users. There are three types of groupings, attribute, hierarchy, and group. We will cover the hierarchy function. The hierarchy provides a list of predetermined groupings of indicators, organized with a particular hierarchy and presentation which are specific to each dataset. Select a predefined hierarchy to narrow your search. Once selection is made, select Apply followed by OK. Please locate the filter icon on the Country element. We will cover the Group function. The Group list is a predetermined grouping of countries. Select a predefined hierarchy to narrow your search. Once selection is made, select Apply followed by OK. This ends the query tutorial. For more references and documentation, including formatting your outputs, saving your outputs, and exporting your outputs, please refer to the available help documents. There are other help documents for using Query from changing the format to changing the units. You can also find several example guides on using the various available outputs, how to create a pie chart, how to create an area, or how to create a tree map. Help documents can be found at datahelp.imf.org.